Hello, um, lovely beloved beadwork friends. Um, as some of you know, I am British. And one of the problems with being British is that we're modest to the point of self-destruction. And it's been an interesting journey earning this business for the last couple of years and learning to stop being modest and be proud of what we do. It's a constant little little battle um, that, that, that the Brits face. So <laughs> here's the thing. This thing that I made yesterday is so cool. I don't care about being mod modest. All the Britishness has gone and in its place is deep pride. So here's how it goes. We've been working on these structures to explore um, kind of spatial form and um, what we call non-Euclidean geometries. Um, you might need to look that up because I can't explain it very well. Um, and we've been playing with this shape. Now this shape we call the infinity shape because it looks a little bit like an infinity curve but it's kind of a double infinity curve. It's really quite amazing. And we do it by making a form that starts with four beads and increases in, um, in eight places. And yeah, we, we're really excited about this but I wasn't satisfied with this. We're always asking the question, okay, what would happen if we took one step further? It's quite a scientific um, inquiry when you work with beads the way we do. So we took this and we expanded it at eight extra points. So this one is expanded at 12 points on its surface. I'm pretty sure that's true. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm wrong, it's 16. 16 points on its surface, there we go. So, this is what happens. It's like an alien spacecraft. I haven't even finished it yet. You can still see the thread still on it. It still has to be connected up. What I love is that as I was working, the shape took form on its own. At first it looked like this wiggly mess that had no sense and now, have a look at this. If you turn it over, it's the same pattern rotated 90 degrees. It is really, really immense. It really does look like an alien spacecraft. And I can't even take photographs of it because photographs don't do it justice. You actually need to see it moving to understand what it's doing. So there we go. That's been my very exciting discovery. So, what did we say this has? Eight points, let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight points. Um, and this has 16. So the next one I want to try is one that has 12 points. And that should be a lot of fun. We already know what one that has four points look like and when I looks like and when I finish the series I will show you all of them in succession. And these lovely little gems are going to wing their way off to Liverpool next week uh, to be part of the exhibition at the Blue Coat Centre, the ACAPA exhibition at the Blue Coat Centre, where they're exhibiting um, South African uh, Cape Townian uh, jewellers and their work. Very, very exciting. So that's what this has inspired. So today, I just, modesty is put to one side. I really love what we do. This is really a lot of fun. <laughs>